Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some Boosted, which is of course made by Dr. Teaspoon. And in specific, I got two games for you today. We're gonna play some Puck now, we're gonna play some Timber, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's get right into the games. All right, friends, we got ourselves Pugna. We'll see what we can do with the guy. Probably blow up some towers. Maybe steal some life with Life Drain. Maybe be really annoying with Never Ward. Quite possibly all three. That's the plan for today. Can I tell you one thing? I'm actually really excited about getting my new computer. My old computer was so shit. Or like the computer I'm still using right now. It's actually so shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny on Saturday when chat kind of started telling me that I need a new computer. And I was like, no, it's fine. And they're like, they cannot run anything other than Dota. And I'm like, no, it can't really run anything other than Dota. And then I just started like thinking about, hmm, hmm, whatever problems are there. Oh yeah, blue screens like every other day. <laughs> I can't run video editing software by because like it just it just freezes everything up horribly. I made like a 90 second video for the Balmy's Ego channel as like a little introduction video and it took me like like probably 45 minutes but just because the editing software runs so horribly slow. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just, yeah, I know, I know. I need a new computer. Like, my computer crashes so regularly that when it happens, I don't even get surprised anymore. <laughs> I just kind of go like, huh, I guess. I'm afraid of updating OBS because when I update OBS, it, like, sometimes it requires more, um, like, processing power to run. <laughs> and then it runs worse. <laughs> I've actually had to even downgrade the um, fidelity of Dota a tiny little bit. Ooh, structure damage modifiers. Yes, make me deal more damage to buildings. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so, I've just, the thing is, I just don't want to spend money. Like, in general. Unless I really have to. But I think, I think in this case, I do actually really have to. And, uh, yeah, it is just how it is, right? And at first I was kind of really annoyed because I obviously, I just, I didn't want to spend the money because it's, it's money, right? It's expensive. I spend nearly 2,000 euros on a computer, which is quite a lot. But at the same time, it's also just, you know, I, I literally use it like every day in the way that I spend most of my day at my computer and um, I just need it like for example if I want to run unity as well or you know unreal engine and so on I was having pretty significant issues running that smoothly when I when I needed to and uh, while right now I don't use it long term I sure hope that I get a chance to you know work on a game again and then I might need to use an engine again right unless it's a board game which I'm down for but uh, you get my point, right? Like, I just... I, hopefully, I will need to use the, that kind of software. And then if I need to use that kind of software, then my current computer is just not gonna... <laughs> it's not gonna run properly. Oh, man. Although, what I... So, what I could have done is I could have saved quite a lot of money by uh, disassembling the current computer and just taking out all of the pieces that are almost certainly still fine, like the drives, for example, right? But I didn't. Uh, and that's just because I thought this computer, even though as much as it is a piece of shit, right? Um, it does also still work. What are these? Spell amp drain raid? I'm not sure what these do. Right, let's just get damage per mana for now. Uh, but, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. I'm sure it was very interesting. Come here, take these. <clears throat> but I decided to just kind of like leave my current computer kind of how it is right now. I'm just, I'm not going to take it apart because that way I have a backup. And that's actually been a problem in the past. Like, one of the reasons why my current computer is kind of fucked is because I know the motherboard is broken. And I know this 
because I've done extensive testing to figure it out after I bought the motherboard and I had installed it and then it kind of ran and it's just like, eh. anyway, there were issues, right? And uh, I figured out what the issues were and then I contacted the seller and I asked for like, basically I asked for them to send me a new motherboard and then I sent back the old one. It's just a pretty like regular procedure for this kind of stuff and they just refused. And at that point I had to pick between, well, not having a computer for however long it takes them to send me a new motherboard after I send my old one in, which could be weeks, right? Like, because first I, it needs to get to them, then it needs to be processed, and then they need to send it, uh, like, probably tested by them, and it needs to be sent back, right? Like, it's just a huge issue. Or I just deal with the fact that the motherboard is a little broken. So I decided to go with that. I decided to just accept that, yeah, it's gonna be a little shit. But I guess, you know, I would rather have a motherboard that's a little shit than have no motherboard at all. And, uh, I mean, it's not ideal now, is it? Ow, that hurts. All right, we've got an Octarine core. Bonus heal percent. I don't know, these, these are weird. Because they all say zero. Which is a lie. Why do you say zero? Don't say zero. All right, 200 health. Ooh. I'm out of mana. Ooh, I'm I'm out of life too. Am I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a shame I didn't have any mana left, else I might have been able to fight. <clears throat> so Dr. Teaspoon said, Spell Amp Drain Rate and Spell Amp Drain Max. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, probably trying to get me to get this. Hmm. Hello here. Okay, that missed. Alright, life drain. It's not gonna be enough. Ah, maybe? Nice. Did I live? I did. I'm so good at the video. That's crazy. I really didn't think we would survive that. Okay. Um, blast delay. That's not right. Damage per mana. Yeah, why not? Let's just let's just have them die a little bit, right? Uh, let's get ourselves some upgraded boots. Aghanim scepter, probably seems good. I'm not entirely sure what else to build. So uh, Aghanim scepter is cast range would be good. Ether lens is nice, right? Ooh, hello. I'm just gonna heal up. Oh. I mean, I'm dead, but... Ah! I was hoping I could take him down with me. Increased radius sounds good. Uh, let's just get more radius, right? Get more radius, make that blast bigger. And uh, I want to get this, and I want to get uh, the... Uh, the car strange. Like, that's gonna be the next couple of items. I know that already. And life stealer is a bit irritating because we just don't actually have a great way of dealing with them. Never blast cooldown reduction. That's good. Cooldown reduction is very handy because it's not actually something you can boost. And how much damage do we do to this tile? Oh, pretty good amount. Uh, we can we can do better than that, but I'll take down this really quick. All right, we're at a hundred percent structure damage now. Ally heal amplification. Wait, does this heal amp? Oh, I didn't even know that. That's kind of crazy. I mean, it doesn't seem particularly useful, but I guess, I guess that's a thing, right? <laughs> Bonus heal enemy drain per second. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's actual damage. And tax to destroy, short damage. Yeah, increase that. Why not? Make the ward a bit more of a nightmare. I mean, right now I'm just going to kind of take down these buildings. Blast damage. But I think the structure modifier is better. That is, I think, the most useful we can get. Most, most useful thing we can get if it comes to like just taking down buildings. Duration on this is really nice. 
Wow, I really appreciate that video. Do you guys appreciate that video? Oh my God, I'm so glad I watched this. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Sick stuff, buddy. Hello. Oh, I'm just here to defend. That doesn't do anything to these, right? Okay. So, can move this. Shard. Seems handy. There's lots of skeletons here. Is that Dr. Teaspoon? No, that's somebody else. Dr. Teaspoon had a skeleton base build. Okay. Well, it's not quite as much as I want it to be just yet. But it's still plenty to nuke down these buildings quickly. Max spell arm drain percent. I mean, I guess, right? Like, let's just get it. Blast damage, structure damage. Although at some point I do actually have to increase the blast damage as well. Ooh, hello. Are you coming? Oh. All right, we'll drain a little bit of life. <laughs> Just a tad little bit. There's a clings. Yeah, I'm not close enough. Woo! Sorry, buddy. I don't think I can help you there. Alright, more duration. Throw down a little ward. Drain a bit. Stop this from pushing. Oh. Hmm. I don't like being out of mana, that's certainly uh, an issue. But I, I'm not really worried about the life stealer, to be honest. <laughs> it's not just being out of mana is an issue, the life stealer certainly is not. Oh, the nice bash. Ah, this one doesn't cancel. I knew one of them didn't cancel. I wasn't sure which one. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep myself ethereal while I'm using just my regular mana region to recover. Oh, crap. Oh, no. The light stealer was on top of me. Ah, yeah. I think this still worked out, though. That's two kills. We'll take it. Alright, next up. Or we get like a Yules or something. I mean, there will be uh, silences, right? I expect silences pretty soon, to be honest. Lincolns also make sense. Probably both. I mean, it's not like you really need anything else. That's a nice thing about Pugna, right? Like, what items does this guy really want? It just isn't that much. Alright, blast damage. Pretty significant now. Okay. Alright, decrepify you. Sure, you can infest me all you like. I will just life drain this guy. <laughs> Friends, be careful. I am Pagna. And Pagna is pretty good at fighting. I know, I know. The, the fear of Pugna has probably faded a little bit. As the hero is mostly played as a support these days, I believe. Is he still? Actually, I haven't watched, like, a recent tournament, so maybe I'm wrong about that. Is Pugna still played as a support? Structure damage, yes. Ho, ho, ho! Oh my god, we got it twice. Alright, come over here. Oh, so close. Not quite enough. Got him. Alright, that's fine. We got another one of these. Can I cast this on you? Oh, hello. Mm. Nice. Good job, Zeus. 
grab all of these right here. So my goal is to one-shot these buildings. The fact that this building survived with a little bit of HP is actually kind of annoying. That means we're still a little bit off. Oh, that should do it though, right? That should do it. Alright, there's a tower. Nice. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice. Very good. Very good. Take some barracks, why don't we? Hey, Pugna is... Pugna's fine. Pugna's fine. Oh, hello. Ah. This is why I, I need yours and Lincoln's, but wasn't enough. Good news, though. Uh, we took some barracks. That's what we're looking to do. Increase our duration here a bit. Yeah, I suppose you can do it like this, too. But th this is decidedly less exciting, right? Wow, these illusions are scary. That's actually really impressive. This is heal? Who cares? Charge damage percent from wood. So I can also multiply that. That's kind of nice. So if I come in here and I slap this, it deals more damage? Oops. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, Dota. Did you die on us? Let's see if we can come back. But that looks like the server just, just crashed. My guess is that somebody went into the negatives on something. <laughs> and then that ended the game. Alright, you know what? I think that was fun anyway, and let's be honest, I could have ended now. I could have just like walked in and blasted somebody to death. So let's just do a second game and leave this in. Alright friends, we got ourselves Timbersaw. And with Timbersaw, we'll just do the same thing we did with Pugna. <laughs> we'll burn things down. The Aghanim Shard. Well, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what exactly we're gonna do yet. Timbersaw has a lot of possible upgrades because his abilities are very complicated. So he's got just a lot of things that you can upgrade. Sometimes that means that you can find what you're looking for really easily. But other times that also means that, um, yeah, maybe not. Okay, so duration, range, debuff, linger, time, move slow, width. We can get radius stacks per hero attack. That's kind of nice, I guess. Um, let's get duration on this. I mean, that's what we are looking for. What's the cooldown on this? At 20 seconds. Okay. So we we need we need like another duration upgrade, I guess. But then that should be fine, right? Other than that, we'll probably get Aghanim's Scepter. Because of Aghanim's Scepter, we also get a very powerful effect that will keep us safe. And then we just... See if we can do some pushing, right? <laughs> and that's the plan. So, let's see what we can pull off here. First, I waddle waddle into the lane. And, uh, oh, hello there. Hello, Ember Spirit. How are you doing, bud? Oh, we're doing proper creep pulls. Oh, that's the kind of people we are today. Actually managing the creep wave properly. All right, all right. But then still trading too aggressively. Come on, buddy. You did you did most of the work already. Failing at the last 10% is always very frustrating, you know? <laughs> Alright, come here. It's kind of funny how the um, overall, I think, skill level has increased so much over the years. Right? Stuff like managing creep aggro is, is really standard these days. But back in the day, that was a serious distinguishing factor. Like, if you were good at that, if you knew how to do that, you were probably better than the vast majority of players. Well, today, you know, it's just kind of assumed that you can manage the creeps a little bit. Right? I mean, what are you, an idiot? I think that's just because of the information density we have these days. And I feel like that applies to every game, right? It's not just Dota, right? I mean, 
I don't want to talk about magic, but like in magic, right? That's also a factor very much so. But uh, overall, it's just the information density, the information accessibility that exists has just led to this like sort of uh, upward momentum to people's general ability in these kinds of games, right? We're probably dead here, yeah. Not much I can do. All right, duration. Uh, let's probably just max this out right now. So we got it, right? So now we have permanent fire. Probably didn't even need that much if we want to get Octarine Core. I'm not sure if we need an Octarine Core, but we might. We might want one. So. Power creep and player knowledge. But that's definitely a thing, right? I think there are some games where that's really interesting to observe. Like, for example, Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Mayday specifically. That's a game that hasn't received a patch. Like, ever. It, it's not connected to the internet. It doesn't get patched. <laughs> right? But people still play it to this very day. I mean, I played it this morning. And that's where it gets interesting, right? Because over the years, people still have gotten much, much better at that game. Hmm, we're kind of in a bit of trouble here. Radius? Why not? That's Aghanim Scepter stuff, right? But they've gotten much better at the game and they've been able to like learn from the uh from their predecessors i suppose uh, much more easily because that information is just available now well back in the day people were generally worse players but that's because they just couldn't actually learn as much about the game because the information just didn't exist in the same way all right so this is probably an issue I'm guessing that we can't win this. I mean, the good news is that we have our fire going on now. Yes. Which we can then use to just, you know, kind of farm creeps a little bit, apply some pressure. Range and width. Let's get the Aghanim Scepter. Shield per second per enemy. That seems good. I want damage on this. I haven't found it yet. I don't know if it exists. But that would be best, I think. Pass damage width. Is width good? It's a good radius. It's a good radius. <laughs> Alright, so I cannot really do enough damage to you, right? I'm just kind of like burning myself out. Probably dead here. I guess not. I guess not. Enigma is helping, but it is difficult. Is that enough? Probably, yeah. Nice. The shockwave got me there. <clears throat> Muslo. Damage per second. Oh, nice. So we can get damage per second. That's very exciting. Oh, come down here and help out a little bit. Hello. Get burned. Nice. Got him. I gotta get out of this fire. It's dealing quite a lot of damage. <laughs> it's not ideal. But uh, I am pretty happy about my flamethrower. Especially now that we learned that we can actually upgrade the damage. Alright, hello. I am trying, but I'm probably dead, yeah. Man, that's a lot of AoE damage. I gotta say, our opponents have really irritating kinds of damage. Like, it's a lot of magic, so unfortunately, reactive armor just doesn't actually do that much. At least not yet. It'll be better once we get the Aghanim Scepter. <clears throat> Explosion radius, I don't think I care. Range. I mean, I guess, or just more cast range? No, it doesn't scale very quickly, right? Your top tower is under attack. I mean, I guess it's range. I guess, I guess it's that. Um, base explosion stacks per hero attack. Okay. It's not bad, but it's not ultimately what we're really looking for. But I guess everything else just kind of doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's so many upgrades here. That's just, but 
just what you're gonna get with a hero like this, right? Very complicated abilities. How do you get second chakram these days? It's a talent, right? Yeah. Oof. Took a lot of damage from that, but we're, we're able to tank those just fine. So, um, we gotta get ourselves damage per second, yes. But we gotta get ourselves the, um, what's it called? The, uh, Aghanim's Scepter. And then probably just like magic resistance. Uh, some spell I steal might be good. Something like that. I'm not sure again if we actually need Octarine Core. We can just make our. We can just make our cooldowns. Oh, sorry. Our durations be long enough that it's fine. So, level up this, level up this. Come over here. And with that, we have our reactive armor now. Which currently only lasts 8 seconds, which is not actually really quite that much, but that's alright, we'll take it. Time to burn down the building! Mm hmm Very good. Hello there, buddy. Magic resistance, gotta get that eternal shroud, right? Alright, we're being harassed, but nothing too crazy, nothing we weren't expecting. Just kind of keep the burn going. I mean, at this stage, it should actually do a pretty chunky amount to this tower. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I don't think I can really help you. Oh, uh, towers are tanky. <laughs> Takes a little while. The towers are slightly buffed in the HP in this mod. They have 2,000 extra life. I guess that's more than slightly. The towers are significantly buffed in uh, terms of HP in this mod. But otherwise, you know, you just kind of have such an easy time ending. It's nice to just uh, have a little bit of extra... Extra um, buffer, I suppose. All right, shield per second, increase that. We've got the maximum shield. I hope we can increase the duration. That would be very nice. And uh, I think that would be good. Okay. No, you do you do your thing. I do my thing. You do your thing. Everybody's happy. And by everybody, I mean mostly me, I guess. But, not gonna lie, that's mostly what I'm interested in. <laughs> Alright, okay, Bat Rider. Yeah, alright, you got me, you got me. Whew, base explosion, bonus armor. Yeah, I mean, we gotta get ourselves to reactive armor to be more powerful, right? Just gonna boost that up as much as we can. Maximum shield is good. Stacks per hero attack. I mean, honestly, just getting reactive armor, normal reactive armor leveled up isn't too bad either. Because as much as our opponents are, you know, majorly uh, magic damage, that doesn't stop health regeneration from being useful. Oh, man. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Your tower is under Magic resistance, that's really nice. Okay, Oracle. Hanging in there. Probably not gonna live too long though. Wow, I was wrong. What a monster. Damage per second. Let me get some better boots. One sec. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Bit sneezy. Might actually need to clear out my little filter here. That might actually be what's making me sneeze. <laughs> Alright, come here. Nice. Um, max shield, I guess. 
It seems like uh, this might have been nerfed and you can't increase the duration of it anymore. Get toasted, tower. Get toasted, idiot. Alright, I gotta get out of here. I mean, Ember Spirit is just kind of a nightmare for us. Because he has so much root that it's really difficult to really interact with. Speed, I guess. Nice. The Lycan is going in. Good job. Okay, Ember Spirit. What do we do about this guy, though? Damage per second is good. Uh, I think we gotta get ourselves a Yules, probably. Like a heart is maybe not a terrible idea. Hello. I'm gonna help. Yeah. This is how you deal some tower damage. <laughs> Oh no, not again. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, it's fine. You got it, Techies. You got it. Maybe you don't. Aha! I've got backup! Oh, you've got backup too. Yeah, I guess that's to be expected. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not Ember Spirit. Not again! Man... That's just such a hard counter. That's just really... If, if I get hit by Ember Spirit at all, I'm just kind of dead. Yeah. Turns out uh, Timbersaw does not like being rooted. That's certainly not ideal. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Increase the stack duration, I guess. Wait for range upgrade. I mean, it doesn't really help. Like, I need survivability, right? I even just skip the damage upgrade. Because as much as I want to flame for our people, as it stands, it's just not really enough damage. Luckily, we have a team that can make it enough damage. Ooh, Lycan is here. Let's go, buddy. Nice. Duration? Oh my god, there it is. It does exist. I've just been really unlucky. Alright. That's good to know, though. Because now, we know that the problem isn't that we can't find it. It's just that we haven't found it. Oh, I gotta get the epic here. But that is fixable, right? If we can't find it, there's nothing we can do. Then we can't actually ever get it. But if we haven't found it, well, that's just a matter of time. We will eventually get there. So, that's good. That's good. Because ideally we want this reactive armor to be active 100% of the time. If we manage to do that, then we can actually take on anyone. Then we are fine. Thank you, Mighty Horse Jr. That's very nice of you. Appreciate it. Alright, Camille, thank you very much. Porsche Tower. Yes! Very good. Okay, what do we have? Stacks per hero attack? Why not? Damage per second? Why not? We had 420 damage per second. It's very good. Shield per second per enemy. Seems alright too. Good. Prevent that. I'm a wolf now. That seems not so useful, but I guess I am a wolf. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Duration. 18 seconds now. Yeah, Lycan goes hard. Honestly. Hey, I am a <laughs> fire-breathing wolf. <laughs> 
If that's not the best kind of wolf, then I don't know what is. Okay. I guess let's uh, get ourselves more range. Oh, that's rude. More duration. Damn, now we're getting it all at once. That's kind of funny. Not this time, buddy! I'm out! I'm leaving! Get him! Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! Nice. Shield time. Oh, yes! Just trying to get through this shield. Take him down. <clears throat> it's about to run out. Oh, hello. I mean, I guess that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, we're hanging in there, right? More duration. 28 seconds now. 32 seconds. And... Extra slow. Why not? Right, let's get... More damage. Um, oh, more damage, I guess. Debuff linger. That seems mildly useful. Got a little bit of money. Let's go. Lycan coming in. Turning the game around. Can we get there? No, he's way too fast. Way too fast. Alright, activate the shield. Uh, initial shield, why not? Bump that up a bit. Shield per second per enemy. Look, I'm just here to push. Lycan isn't as good at pushing. He, all of his damage is critical strike. And he doesn't have any defense either. That's why I'm a little bit better off, but I don't know if it's enough. Oh, actually. Oh, it crashed again? No. No, no, no. <laughs> it just... Just for a moment. <laughs> just for a moment. Damage per second. Thank you very much. All right, so come in here. Pick up this. Very good. I'm not sure if we need Octarine Core. We definitely get a Wind Waker. A Bloodstone seems kind of fun, I guess. Kaya and Sange. Why not? I just need to survive, right? I don't really need to worry about anything else. We have physical armor anyway, so I don't need to buy like a Shiva's guard. I mean, I guess I could increase that some more and we probably should. But that's fine. We can just do that. Duration on this is now 31 seconds. Got 44 seconds. Cool down. Not sort of getting me, right? Activate you. Time to burn down this base. Burn it to the ground, I tell you. It's not quite as effective as Pugna. But we're getting there. <laughs> well, we are doing our best. That's really all we can do, right? Hello there, Lycan. God damn it, why are you better at this than me? Just your walls are huge. Yeah, the walls are huge. Okay. Hello, friends. Oh, that was kind of funny. Hooked them out of there. Secret tech. Well, hello. I'm just... I'm, I'm trying to waddle out of here. All I want is to leave. Please have mercy on me. Did my thing run out? Oh yeah, you can dispel it. That's that's definitely a problem. <laughs> okay, we're stunned. Luckily, I did upgrade this just kind of default as well. Okay, well, we're still hanging in there. They haven't managed to kill me yet. Alright, fire again. Is it okay if I leave? I'm just... I just want to get to the tower. 
They're not gonna let me, are they? Now, we're being attacked by the... We're being attacked by the Ancient now, which is not ideal. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Alright, nice, you missed that. Oh, we made it! Now I just need to hang out here. I don't need to worry about anything else anymore. Just burn down these buildings. 700 damage per second. Okay, that's fine. Activate this. Ooh. Your ancient is not having a great time, friends. Yes! We got there. <laughs> it was a little bit of a whack game. But I still had some fun. I hope you guys had some fun as well. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.